Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen and amen. I am, I am only just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. Most people over the years have grown rather cold and callous as to what they see on TV and in movies. And because we know it's not real, but it's made up from someone's imaginations. But uh, even if it, even if it, it is real, we still tend to dismiss it. But what if you were shown something on a big screen that is real, and you know that it's real and that it's coming? What do you do then? What do you do with that? A horrific scene, much pain, suffering, and destruction on an incomprehensible scale, on, a, on an un, unimaginable scale. How do you deal with that? How do you accept that? That is what gave me to warn you about. I had a dream. I had a dream. And in this dream, I saw many different scenarios, little snippets, if you will, uh, on many different ways that America would be destroyed. And one of the things that I was shown on the big screen was people who were uh, filled with disease and their flesh was black and green, hanging, gaping wounds all over their bodies, dried blood seemed to cover them, and they had turned black. They looked and acted very sick. Now when you see a, a sick, emaciated animal with mange, you try to avoid it at all costs. You just don't know if it has rabies or what. That is how these people looked. They were ate up with disease, open wounds, and in some of the wounds you could see bones. Some of these gaping wounds where the disease had, had eaten their flesh right to the bone. This was a horrific and frightening sight. There were a few people, but all that I saw had been ate up with disease. And there was no food, no clean water. People ate things that would make a dog sick today. People drank rancid water, which will kill many. Everyone's pets, all the stray animals, and all the animals in the wild, they were long gone. Food and clean water will become so valuable that a man will trade all of his gold for a handful of beans. And future millionaires will not hold cash or gold, but they will be rich in food and even clean water. I give you Ezekiel 7 and 19. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is a stumbling block to their iniquity. There are scientists who have developed a disease they call disease X, and they claim it has about a 70% mortality rate. It kills almost everyone. I guess that means everyone must buy the preventative treatment for this, right, if they want to live. But at what price? What price do you place on your soul? Where does all this stop? And then do not forget about all the boosters they, they sell too. Funny thing is that they already have the treatment for this designer disease. Well, let's do some math here. Uh, just throw a number out there, $200 for a dose of this so-called preventative treatment times 7 billion people. That will make somebody a lot of money. Some of these videos that I saw were, were these scientists were working on this disease X. They were laughing and joking and patting each other on the back. And I thought, you know, this was, this was sick. These people were enjoying themselves making such a horrendous disease to release upon the world. But this is what I was shown. I give you Exodus 9.15. For now I will stretch out my hand, that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence, and thou shalt be cut off from the earth. Jeremiah 29.17. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and I will make them like vile figs, which that cannot be eaten. They are so evil. Ezekiel 7 and 15. The sword is without, and the pestilence, and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die by the sword, and he that is in the city, famine, 
and pestilence shall devour him. Matthew 24 and 7. <clears throat> For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Matthew 24, 21 and 22. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Matthew 24, 33 to 39. So likewise ye, when ye see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass, till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. <clears throat> but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying, giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew 24 and 42. Watch, therefore ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Luke 21, 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Revelation 6, 7 and 8. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard a voice of the fourth beast saying, Come and see. And I looked, and I beheld a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto him, unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, with hunger, and with death, and with beasts of the earth. Now with death also implies many things, many types of death, but it also implies disease. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, For God hath not given us a spirit, the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9, For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, bad times are coming, and I've seen a lot of it. But we who are faithful and washed in the blood, born again, we have nothing to fear because Jesus will come and rapture his faithful out of harm's way. And we pray we see you on the streets of gold one day very soon. So God bless you and yours. And we keep you and your family in our prayers. Each and every one of you have been a blessing to us in this ministry. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. And we love you all so very much. We love you all so very, very much. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. Oh, play, praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise your holy name. Praise your holy name. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. For you are God, and there is no other. You are worthy of all praise, all glory, all honor. Is yours, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for making me a watchman with dreams and visions. And I pray, the Lord, that I be faithful and that I be pleasing to you, Lord. I pray that I be pleasing to you, Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.